welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a long time, but I'm back and I'm better. So today we are going to be decorating pop sockets. First things first, I know that my hair look a mess. I have been, you know, doing a lot. I turned 15, you know, since my last Popeye Sheen video, you know, go check that out. And, you know, started high school, you know, a lot of things just been going on. I've been busy. So today I'm gonna try to make a video. And a lot of people know, some people know that I like doing arts and crafts and stuff of that nature. So today I'm going to be doing just that. Um, let's get straight into the video. So guys, I got these pop sockets from um from this college fair that I hosted. Well, I didn't really host it. I was like a, a ambassador for my school. I go to McClellan High School, um, back town. So, oh, first let me tell y'all the materials that you're gonna need for said pop socket. So of course you're gonna need the pop sockets. Duh. And um, you're gonna need some parchment paper. And you're gonna need, for one of the pop sockets, you're gonna need this stuff. And what this is, is called vinyl. And like, for those of y'all that know, my mom make t-shirts and like, this is the stuff that, after she cut it out, then like, you rip it off and then like, this is the stuff that's left from that. You know, if y'all don't have that, totally fine. I wouldn't expect you to have it anyway. I'm just gonna show y'all how I made mine. And this stuff is called um, E6000, it's craft glue. You can get it at like Michaels, Walmart, all that. And this is um, paint, you're gonna need some paint. And like, let me tell y'all right now, I don't know what I'm doing. Disclaimer, full disclaimer, I don't know what I'm doing. We gonna learn together. This is also vinyl, but it's just glitter. And also, we're gonna need some scissors, some alcohol, two cotton balls. You're gonna need an iron. Or you can use a hair dryer. I mean, I've used a hair dryer on things before. So yeah, that's really all. Let's go ahead and get started. So you're gonna need to clean off the um, pop socket with the alcohol and then take the dry one and like, Pat it, rub it dry, whatever. And then you're gonna take your parchment paper. Right, I'm gonna this other one. You're gonna take the parchment paper and then you're gonna pick out the colors of vinyl that you're gonna use. I'm gonna use white. You're not gonna need all that, but you, I'm gonna use white and probably this color blue. And it's gonna be like this color, this color blue. And I'm gonna use also purple y'all are probably wondering those are really small like how you gonna da 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 i'm gonna show y'all and maybe i might use a little bit of yellow but i'm only gonna use a little bit of yellow okay so once you have picked out all of your colors then what you're gonna do is take your scissors and again don't know what i'm doing sweeties but we are gonna try first i want to start with the white though because i feel like that's gonna be our base base color and so i'm gonna cut it like that right here i'm probably only gonna need about that much because you know it's just the pop socket so like i was saying i started high school and i joined student council because i was on student council when i was at cloverdale and i really really enjoy student council so I joined it when I got to high school. I wanted to be vice president, but then I was like, it's probably gonna be a lot of people competing for vice president. So now I'm secretary, but really I'm like, I just do everything. Like if somebody need help with something, I go and assist them. I just write down what we talk about and you know, do stuff like that. But it's really, really fun. I advise y'all to get on y'all student councils at y'all school. We organized the homecoming and you know, really just did a whole lot of stuff. So I'm gonna just, I know y'all can't see, but I'm gonna lay the white down. I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. I'm gonna lay the white down. And then when you lay down your base color for whatever you're gonna use, then you wanna make sure your pop socket like fits on there. Like you can cut 
around the circle and also maybe like a little bit bigger than the actual pop socket and then you're gonna take the rest of your colors and like cut it up into like small tiny teeny pieces really it don't matter what your base color is gonna be if you're gonna use a lot of um of vinyl also oh yeah i turned 15 i said that my birthday was november 5th i am a scorpio die hard scorpio i really believe in um astrology i don't believe like it controls what you do every day like the daily horoscopes i don't know if i go too far in, as believing that but i definitely feel like the typical characteristics of a scorpio i most definitely possess and what i'm doing is i'm like cutting it sideways and then cutting it like that over thanksgiving break i cooked the entire meal for my family in Aberville. I really just like, I cooked greens and I cooked sweet potatoes and I cooked, um, well, I made pasta salad and I made double eggs and I made ham and I made dressing and I just made like a whole bunch of stuff. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm pretty sure you've seen the plate of stuff that I made because I get down in the kitchen, point blank, period. Everybody was like, oh my God, this is so good. And you know, really just the goat, get at me. Oh, and also I want to do a video like that too. This is really like the longest part. I'm just going to stop talking and I'm going to speed this up. So, I got it all cut up. Let me show y'all. It's like cut up like this right here into tiny little pieces. And I know y'all see a lot of white, but it's just because like some of them are like white on the back side. And so once you do that, you know, you're pretty much all set. So what you're going to do is... um first i should have did this first one if y'all do this y'all do this part first be smart oh speaking of being smart i got finals coming up y'all and i just want to say to all the people who told me that high school was fun and high school was this and high school was that y'all never ever 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 once said nothing about finals and i feel like you really just did me dirt because had I known about finals, I wouldn't have went to high school. I would have stayed in eighth grade because, quite frankly, eighth grade was a great year for me. And um, what you want to do is fold this in half because you're not gonna need all of that, and then cut it in half. Um, because eighth grade was a great year, and to be honest, I miss Cloverdale. Shout out to all of y'all that still go to Cloverdale. So I really miss y'all. And I miss, you know, the school. Because Cloverdale teachers, you know, a lot of people say a lot of bad stuff about Cloverdale. But, like, Cloverdale really did a lot for me, to be honest. Like, got me a lot of opportunities that I probably wouldn't have, definitely wouldn't have at the school I went to before. But you want to put the mat side up, okay? And then you want to take your little pieces of a vinyl or whatever and then lay them down like not in like a specific thing like if some of them have the white on the back you want to like make sure you lay it down where there's not a lot of um not the white sticking up but the um the other part sticking up and trying to keep it in a close spot like where you know you're going to cut your circle out so then that way it won't be like too much of a too much wasted if you see any big pieces that you know you can just flip over, then flip them over. In the meantime, in the between time, take your iron and plug it up. Yeah, that's gonna get real hotty, real hot girl iron. And let that heat up while you continue to do this. Make sure you get it how you want it because then you're gonna melt it and it's all gonna be like together. Ain't no going back, ain't no coming back. Oh, y'all also, I got glasses and um, I'm not gonna put my glasses on right now because I can see pretty much right now so but yeah I got glasses y'all I went to the doctor and the doctor was like you have a stigmatism and I was like what a stigmatism and they was like yeah girl stigmatism and so now I have to wear glasses but my glasses are really cute you know I've gotten a lot of compliments on them i'm not supposed to wear them every day like technically i'm only supposed to wear them like if i'm driving or when i'm watching tv at all and on my phone with the lights off i'm supposed to have them on but you know 
<laughs> I'm not gonna be wearing the glasses all the time. But they are really cute and you know, I do wear them when I drive. Speaking of driving, y'all, I'm supposed to be taking my permit test now since I'm 15 years old, legally a permit driver. I went to take it the first time because we just trying to get hot. I went to take it the first time, but my mama didn't know where my birth certificate was, so I, I couldn't take it. Then we took a trip to Alabama, where I'm from, Fort Payne, Alabama. If you didn't know, and then we got my um, birth certificate back. Um, let me show y'all. It's like it's like this right here. This is what I'm working with right now. So no specific um thing it's just you know just all spread out once you have that like that you're gonna take your other piece of parking paper and then you're gonna put it directly on top and then so once your iron is hot but not like too too hot i guess you want to take the iron and then you're gonna just like make it hot and melt it melt it together y'all it's working it's working and you want to just like press down to like um i think this is gonna ruin my uh desk so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a towel to put down we are gonna move this out the way for just 2.2 and i'm gonna put this towel down and iron it on top of that and plus this will probably um make the heat do something too so yeah, let that get hot. I don't know. Just kind of, just kind of, you know, you know. And so let's check on it. When you peel back, it should somewhat. Oh my God, that's fire. That's clean. That's fire. That's clean. That's, fire. that's clean. And um, when you peel it, it should somewhat look like this, y'all. Oh my god, oh my god, like I did. Oh, crafty, uh, get at me. And then again, measure your pop socket to where you want to have it at. <laughs> it worked. Okay. And yes, oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. The reason why you wanted to have a, um, a base is because so you could peel it up and then like paste it on there. If I turn this light, it makes my light brighter or darker. That's crazy. That's crazy, crazy. Make sure you unplug your iron. Unplug the iron. If you don't hear nothing else I say in this video, unplug the iron. Don't burn your house down. Speaking of, my friend, Shania, you know, Naya 2 is Naya number 2. She tried to burn my house down, y'all. She tried to throw burning hot alcohol on me. What? Y'all yeah, talking about some oh, love Shania. She's so pretty. Do more videos with Shania. Da 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 da. And she trying to burn my house down. Ooh. And once you do that, you just peel it up and then boom, da da boom, you have that right there. Okay, so now y'all, y'all should have the um the pop socket the pop socket and what you just made so what you're gonna do you're gonna get a pen or pencil take the pencil and then you're gonna put the um, pop socket on top of where you want the um, the design it and then you're gonna kind of just draw along yeah the pencil not working you're gonna kind of draw along where you want your socket to pop and so you should have like a circle. I don't know if you can see. You should have like a circle around your design. Then you're gonna take your scissors, cut the circle out. I mean, simple. You cut the circle out, and this is what's gonna be on my pop socket. That is. Tell me that's not fire. Tell me that's not fire. That's original. Original. And then you walk around with your pop socket on. Everybody gonna be like, oh my god. She's still walking around with an iPhone 4, but oh my god, her pop socket 5. That's why I can't tell me it's not. Okay, so then after you do all of that 
hard, long, tedious work, then ooh, what you're going to do, what you're going to do with that big fat butt, you're going to take the E6 bow and then bow, bow. And then you <laughs> go put it on there. A little goes a long way. I'm going to put the top back on it because you can dry real fast. I'm just going to use this piece of cardboard right here because... I ain't getting nothing else. So I guess add that to the material list too. Then you're just gonna spread it out. Take your pop socket thing that you just did. And then put it on there. Boom. Boom. Bow. Bow. My pop socky. Sucky sucky don't stop me. You put um something heavy on top of it. And like, like try not to, try not to press to where like it slide, but press enough for it to stitch. You wanna leave something on top of it. So I'm gonna do is use this Jergens bottle, this lotion. Really, the only lotion I use, like as a daily moisturizer. I wanna do an eczema video, of how I manage and maintain my eczema, <clears throat> but. I don't know how this gonna go. Let me know if y'all want to see that. It's not something that I really talk about, but you know, I want my channel to be um, diverse. So, you know, let me know if y'all would be want to see that. If y'all would support that. All right. So we just finished our first pop socket. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You know, to my channel, Janai Angelique. What we're gonna do now is make our second pop socket with the glitter so i basically just did the exact same thing for this one that i did with the first one so just complete all the same steps horizon shine it's like it's like this y'all this is just that's really pretty i love it i love it patricia boom pop suck it number two is done so let's pop second number two and um you want to place this under something heavy too let's make our other pop socket i'm gonna make the i'm gonna make the pipe cleaner pop socket okay so the pop socket was supposed to look like this and be all fuzzy and furry but it's not working because it keep going like this and that's not cute So that's a fail. I'm gonna try to do the same thing with another pop socket, and I'm gonna use this ribbon. <sighs> really gonna cry, cause I thought I was just amazing crafter, and I'm not, cause I failed. But we dug it out and we move on. I did all the same things I did before, except for this time I didn't use iron or anything. I just put the E6000 directly on the pop socket, then. The ribbon on top of that so that way you have like like that then from there you press you press on because life keeps moving even when you stop oh that's a good shirt idea i'm gonna use mod podge later mod podge is basically like um a sealant that people use in crafts i'm gonna leave all this stuff overnight to dry but this is pop socket number one and pop socket number two pop socket number two i would have liked it if i would have put it in these two little open spots but it's okay you have the pop socket that's cute too this was pop socket number three. Ooh, but maybe we can save it maybe we can paint it maybe we can paint it i'm gonna take this wooden half inch paintbrush and um I'm gonna just drop a little bit of that little bit of side of um, paint on it. I'm just gonna like dipple it like across. Just has to make it to be like that. Now let that dry. I'm gonna take a piece of index card and I'm gonna take a piece of index card and I'm gonna put the index card down. And I'm gonna do drips and drops of different paints. First, let me draw a circle around 
this. So yeah, do the cycle. And I'm gonna put like a dash of paint of the pink and the white. Drop a comment if your school's colors are pink and white. I've never seen a school's color be pink and white. So we're gonna take the pop socket that we already painted and you wanna just like boop, plop it down, twist it and come up. And it's gonna be like, wow. Like y'all gonna be like, Janai, you goldy for real. Make sure you pop any um air bubbles that y'all have let me show y'all okay so this is what they look like what i just dipped i think this is the first one and this is the second one but yeah that's real fine real real fine yeah. i have all my pop sockets done y'all that i'm gonna do tonight i'll probably be looking at some more youtube videos y'all send me some youtube videos that y'all um see like the pop sockets and whatnot while i'm cleaning up again make sure y'all like comment and subscribe if you um like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up comment below what y'all want to see me do next and um I know i'm gonna try to get back active on my youtube channel thank you for liking and watching this video <sighs> see you next time i guess